Hey, and welcome back to our Euroleaks Metric Fastener Standard Comparison Vlog Series. This is episode 15 of our series, and today this pin head is going to teach you guys about some clevis pins, right? Um, so as you can see, I'm working from home now. Uh, I called it last week. I assumed uh, that was going to be happening uh, shortly with everything that's been going on. If you don't keep up with my blog series, I I uh, do a good bit of research on all of that kind of stuff, and I've been keeping up with it. And, and sure enough, our our governor did the stay from home order yesterday. So uh, we are uh, Euralink is considered an essential business, so we are still open, um, and we are going to be continuing to function, and everything should be able to roll out as as normal but uh you know we are allowing the those of pe those people that want to work from home to work from home i kind of got forced into it me being the young buck in the office and being a little bit more technology savvy than some of the older guys they uh they kind of wanted me to go first so that way i could kind of get the feel of it and be ready to to support our sales team if they would decide to go to work from home so that's kind of the idea there so as you can see i am in my official work from home uniform now right with the with the beanie i essentially look like a, a hipster your own homeless person. I I am wearing my uh, my uh, my 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 pants for this video. I figured uh, you know I'd show that off. You know, uh, and I am working from my dining room. Uh, my wife is a clinical mental health therapist, so she has taken over the office. Uh, she's got the uh, you know she needs that for the for the privacy and everything. So I've got this like makeshift kind of thing set up here in the dining room. And so trying to make this work the best you can, right? I think that's a lot of us right now. Um, and so uh, so today's topic, like I said, uh, y'all could probably tell by now why I married a, a clinical mental health therapist, right? Like, I mean, at this point, you know, like, probably gonna have some kind of journal article about me in some kind of psychological science journal or something. Um, well, today's topic is about clevis pins, so let's get crazy about some pins, right? Um, by the way, I did look up the definition of a pin head and the definition of a pin head, in addition to being uh, a literal head of a pin, is a foolish or dumb person. So don't be a pin head and learn your pins, right? So here we go. Um, this one's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, unlike my last video about the, or last two about the hex, uh, hex nuts and the hex thin nuts, which you would think those would be straightforward. Um, there's actually some complexity to that one. And I ended up releasing a complimentary blog post. Um, that one is, uh, that blog post, by the way, if you've seen those videos, but you haven't seen the blog post, the blog post is under the blog section and is actually considered, is called the blog extension, blog extension. Um, and so it's the one obviously on hex nuts and hex thin nuts. Um, so that kind of complements those two videos with a little bit of extra information, uh, particularly about those fine thread ones, I think. Um, so uh, let's start with uh, just the different pins in general, right? So you've got your DIN 1434. This is a clevis pin with a small head. Um, the DIN 1443 is a clevis this pin without a head and the DIN 1444 is a clevis pin with a head presumably of normal size right um, and so the DIN 1434s that standard was actually withdrawn and not replaced with an ISO or EN standard. Um, DIN 1443 and DIN 1444 were also withdrawn, but they were replaced with ISO EN standards. Uh, with uh, let's see the so the clevis pin with that the head, without the head and the clevis pin with a normal size head, those do have a ISO EN standard. With the DIN uh, 1443 being ISO 2340 or EN in 22340 uh, and DIN 1444 being ISO 2341 or EN 22341. Right. Um, and so and I'll review that again here in just a minute if, if that, you got lost on that one. But uh, from what I understand, for the most recent version of the ISO standard, um, type A and type B are still relevant. Uh, but based on sourcing and all, generally type B is the, like the standard or the go to type. So if you call out a 2341, I think usually people are going to take that as a type B, but you can clarify. There is technically a type A and a type B. Um, type A being without the pinhole and type B being with the pinhole. So if it's going through something and you want to put like another little split pin or something in there to like kind of like lock it in place, um, then you would need type B, right? Um, so, and so 
from what I understand from the most recent, or I already said that all that, sorry, uh, the actual dimensions between DIN 1443 and 1444 uh, and their ISO counterparts are exactly the same. Uh, so the only difference really lies in the standards themselves, um, with the ISO EN standards having a defined range of commercial links. So each nominal size has like some nominal links that are available, uh, that are considered commercial, so are, are going to be like most readily available, right? Um, and they also have a defined range of hardness now with it being 125 to 245 HV, whereas apparently before there wasn't a defined hardness for it. So, and guys, like I said, that's that's it for today. Um, did not get interrupted uh, by the wife or the dog. So I'm just going to go ahead and interrupt her. She's actually being perfectly fine right here. You guys, I got to show you to her. Like my dog trainer with me, right? So my dog, uh, she's actually sleeping perfectly fine. So I'll disturb her and pick her up. Isn't she cute? Her name is Seamra. Okay. Uh, but, oh, yep, she's going back to bed. And that kind of hurt. Oh. All right, anyways. Um, the DIN, uh, so just was a review. Uh, the DIN 1434, Clevis pin with a small head, um, was withdrawn without replacement. DIN 1443, the Clevis pin with no head, is going to be equal to ISO 2340, which is equal to EN2. 2340. Um, DIN 1444, that's the clevis pin with the head or normal head, um, is going to be equal to ISO 2341, and which is going to be equal to EN 2341. All right. Uh, remember that DIN 1443 and 1444 are interchangeable with their ISO counterparts, ISO 2340 and 2341, uh, 2341 respectively, because dimensionally they are equivalent. Right. Um, and so remember, the difference between the standardizations is just simply one of the standards themselves with the ISO standards. So 2340 and 2341 um, having that defined range of links, right, um, of commercial links. And uh, and then also the defined range of the hardnesses. And that defined range of the hardness is 125 to 245 HV. Don't know if you hear my dog barking a little bit. There must be another dog walking by. It's crazy, right? All right. So as always. Always, please feel free to send any questions, comments, or of course, requests for quotes to me at London at EurolinkFSS.com or your respective inside sales rep. And check out our website, EurolinkFSS.com slash blog for more of our metric faster and comparison videos and check out the blog series. Um, like I said, so far, I still just have some of the A2, A versus A4 stuff on there. Um, I've got some of the like a little bit uh, the news uh, for the for the uh, on the COVID nineteen situation, but that that news is probably a little outdated at this point. So I probably have to get another episode or another uh, article of that out soon. Um, and guys, uh, y'all, I just want to say, you know, I know a lot of you guys are going to work from home, and you might be watching the video, uh, this video, and I just really want to say, um, y'all, take care of yourselves. I mean, especially when you first go to work from home, things can be a little bit crazy, uh, whether you got just a dog sitting here barking a little bit right next to you, or if you got kids and stuff, I know that stuff's wild. Y'all, be kind to yourselves. Um, the adjustment, the change in routine itself, just psychologically, um, really does affect us, and, um, and you know the heaviness of everything that's going on in our world does as well so so y'all i do recommend if if you're feeling really anxious you're feeling kind of down or feeling overwhelmed uh, to contact a cl uh, mental, clinical mental health therapist licensed mental health therapist y'all they're doing telecommunications now um so you could even build them into your work day where it's just a quick 50 minutes to an hour and you don't even have to go anywhere you can just work from your desk right there if you want to or if you need to go find just a quiet place in the house right um so y'all don't forget to wash your hands with those hands Okay, and uh, y'all, and uh, yeah, the, the darkness to light, that was the whole switch thing, remember, that we were doing. So uh, y'all, hopefully we can keep it keep it light and uh, keep it uh, keep things happy and healthy out there and keep your teams good and, and efficient, and, uh, and I'll be praying for you. Um, so see you guys next time. Bye.